In the coming days, sources tell CNN Vice President Kamala Harris could visit the U.S.-Mexico border during a stop in Arizona. Her campaign is using the trip to push back on Republican attacks that she's weak on immigration policy. She wants to solve this problem. She said she would she would sign that into law on day one of her presidency if we can pass that in the Senate. Today, the Democratic nominee rolls out some new economic proposals while in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Former President Donald Trump, meantime, shared his message on the economy while in Georgia Tuesday. A new CNN poll finds there's no clear leader in the race between the two candidates. But it does show Trump has a wide advantage over Harris on the economy. But voters generally favor Harris's approach on issues of abortion and reproductive rights. Monday, Trump sought to close that gap, saying this to women in the crowd at an event in rural Pennsylvania. You will be protected and I will be your protector. You will no longer be thinking about abortion. So all they talk about abortion. While Harris may benefit from where she stands on the abortion issue, she's not getting the endorsement of outgoing West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin. The former Democrat told reporters he will not support Harris due to her recent comments supporting the elimination of the Senate filibuster to pass abortion rights legislation. Shame on her. She knows that the filibuster is the holy grail of democracy. It's the only thing that keeps us talking and working together. Eliminating the filibuster would lower the threshold for passing such legislation from 60 votes to a simple majority of 51. As both candidates continue to campaign, security for former President Trump has been a major concern. There have been two attempts on his life in just a matter of months, and now intelligence officials have briefed the former president on assassination threats from Iran. In Washington, Angie Gonzalez, Spectrum News. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Let Spectrum News be your resource for balanced, in-depth political coverage. And click the subscribe button right here. You can also download our app or watch us on TV to learn more about the candidates, where they stand on the issues, and more. We'll see you then.